Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and a demonstration on the last eyeshadow palette that I picked up in my Ulta haul from a few weeks back. And I impulse purchased this on the way to the register. I had a couple of other palettes in my basket already, but I was passing the Ulta brand uh, section and I saw this gilded gold palette and I was struck by how beautiful the shades were and so I decided to throw it in my cart. I usually buy all matte shadows and I love all matte shadows but there are those times you know when you just want to amp it up and add a little glimmer or a little sparkle or a little shimmer to your eyelids and I like having like a wide variety of them without having to spend you know $17 for one or $22 for one pot of of shimmer shade. So this gives such a beautiful selection of colors. I just, I love it that, um, you know, it's the full range. It's from light light and then it gradates very subtly to the darkest dark. So I like it that there are rose golds in here, that there are taupes in here, which of course are my all-time favorites. I love a good taupe. Then, you know, over here there's more uh, mauve purpley shades and over here you get this beautiful midnight blue and a nice dark black. The other thing that's nice about it is that it does come with a nice and actually usable brush. This is a good quality brush and even if I don't end up using the palette I'll keep the, the brushes going into my brush collection. It's coming out of the palette because I have just been loving this brush. So I'm gonna have to check out the Ulta brushes as well next time I go in there. Let me go ahead and bring in the swatches on this so that you can see what each of the shadows looks like on the skin. So here are the shimmers. All the shades are very true to color and I really love that about this palette. They have different levels of shimmer and glitter. Some are more glittery and have more glitter flakes that fall out than others. So moving on, the matte row has a little less color payout. The colors are definitely true to themselves. There's enough variation between the colors that it's not like you're getting three of the same thing in this one. They're not as opaque and solid as I would like, especially the last color, Coal, which should be a really nice dark black, but really comes up as just a medium gray. So I've used the palette quite a number of times since I purchased it. I keep trying to get it to go on right, and I keep trying to like it. So while I love the shades, I love the colors, I love the, um, the row of mattes and the row of shimmers and sparkles up above, and I love the brush, it's not the easiest palette to work with because the colors are so weak. They definitely blend away to nothing. And I really feel like I'm not getting the kind of impact that I want from this palette. Putting it on dry, there is a lot of fallout. So if you're gonna use it, definitely use an eyeshadow guard or something. And even using it wet, I thought there would be zero fallout and I still had fallout just using it wet. So from that standpoint, they're definitely not creamy shadows. They're definitely more powdery than I would like. With some of the shimmers and sparkles, the little pieces of glitter are too big. You know, they fall off and it doesn't really give you that nice effect. They just kind of go away and it becomes, might as well be a matte shade. So um, for today's demonstration, I decided that I would use it wet so that I could really get some color out of it. And I think that that is probably the best way to use this palette. So let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you how I use this palette using damp brushes. So you can do this with, with water. I did it with setting spray and the setting spray that I like is the e.l.f. Mist and Set. I use this one because it doesn't contain any alcohol. Most setting sprays are all SD alcohol, which is really drying and so I don't like to spray that on my skin, so I don't. But I love this one, $3 at Target. All you need is like a little tiny bowl and you just take your setting spray and put a couple of spritzes into the bowl so you just have a small puddle of it in the bottom. You know, you're not wasting any product. And then I'm just gonna show you this now so I don't have to keep repeating dipping the brushes in the video. But then you basically take your brush, dip it in the liquid, you don't want it to be saturated, so you rub it off on the edge of the container. And then what I do is I keep a clean tissue handy and I just basically dab it on the tissue. Then I would take this damp brush and tap it into the eyeshadow pot to pick up some color. And then you use that damp on your eyelids. So let's go to the video and we'll do a little tutorial on this look. Right, the first step in any eyeshadow look is to apply primer. I use always and love the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless 12 Hour Smoothing Eye Primer. I squirt a little bit onto the back of my hand and then I spread it onto my eyelids with my finger. I let that set up for a couple of minutes. 
then using the Beauty Junkies All Over Shader, wet by dipping it into the setting spray and the color tan from the palette. I applied that to the uh, middle part of my eyelid above the crease and down into the crease using a padding motion. Now I find with using it wet, the shadows definitely go on much more opaque and much more solid. So you do have to kind of be careful that you don't end up with a you know, really dark application. All right, next I'm using the brush from the Ulta Gilded Gold palette. Dip it in the setting spray and then dip it into the shade Gilded. I'm gonna just pat that onto the inner corner of my eyelid. Using the Sigma E45 crease brush, I'm gonna dip it into the setting spray and then dip it into the color Lava. Then I'm going to apply it to my eyelid above the crease being sure to turn it so that the point of the brush is aiming towards my eyebrow so that I can create that outer V and then spreading it in a rainbow kind of shape, in an arch shape to the inner corner of my eye. I'm also blending it down onto the movable part of my lid at the outer third of my eyelid. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dry blending brush so I'm not dipping it into the setting spray and I'm just blending that out. So if you did put it on so that it had any hard edges uh, or it went on too dark, you can now use a dry brush to blend it out a little bit. Okay, next step I'm going to use my Beauty Junkies Pro Pencil Brush and the color Midnight. I'm just going to take a little bit of Midnight and I'm going to make a small wing at the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to start at the lash line at the outer third and I'm just going to draw that up and out towards my eyebrow starting to form the darkness at the outer corner and a small wing. Next I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics number 22 small shadow brush dipped into the setting spray with the color Opal and I'm going to pat that all over the center of my lid. Then I'm going to use the Ulta brush that came with the kit again and not put it into the setting spray because it's already damp. Tap it into the lightest shade in the palette which is Bone and I'm going to apply that as my brow highlight. So I'm just going to run that along the lower edge of my eyebrow from inner corner to outer corner to create that highlight. Alright, so now the eyeshadow is finished. If you have any problems where it's too dark, you can take that dry brush and blend it out. So next I'm going to do some push liner using the Beauty Junkies Pro Brow Brush. I'm using this wet so I'm dipping it into the setting spray and then dipping it into Midnight. So first I'm going to do the waterline on my lower lashes, then I'm going to dip it back into the setting spray and repeat the process on the upper lashes using Coal to darken up the eyeliner on the upper level. And as the last step in any eyeshadow tutorial it is to apply mascara. I'm putting on two coats of Lancome Hypnose Drama and that finishes out the look. So I feel like using the setting spray with this application method really helps these shadows to add a lot of punch and add a lot of color payout. Now you can do this with any shadows that you own. You can use them wet or dry. You can use them with plain water. You can use them with setting spray. So don't be afraid to um, experiment with your shadows. You know, if you bought something and it's not quite working out for you, there are other ways to use it to make it work. Like I said, um, when I first tried this dry, I was very disappointed in the color payoff the amount of fallout, but now that I have um, discovered using it wet, I think that it definitely has potential. So for $20, you know, if you're on a limited income and you want a, um, you know, a decent palette with okay quality, but that you can make it work, I think this is a good option. So that is my full review on the Gilded Gold palette for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you found the review helpful and informative. So as always, everybody, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.